It was November 28th, the first day of Hanukkah, and me and my cousin were spending the night at her house. She wasn't even Jewish, yet she still received a fucking gift. A pair of new pajamas. They were so beautiful. Really, they were. They were red, but the red was very deep and rich, almost like a blood red. My favorite kind of red! The best part was the furry collar. It was so soft, almost like clouds or real fur. It was probably faux mink. I love mink, faux or real. Her parents went to an early Christmas party and would not be home until late, probably out getting wasted and high on cocaine. So for a hundred bucks and lock and key issue number two, I packed some clothes and headed over to her house around eight o'clock at night. When I got there, I rang the doorbell, but it took her quite a while to answer the door. Probably having to gussy up, because, you know, I might be into lesbian incest. When she finally did, she was wearing the new pajamas that I loved so much. The long, deep red sleeves reached out to her French-tipped fingernails, proving that they were a little too big for her. And the rich red pants hung loosely around her bright blue painted toenails, so that I could not even see her toes. When I got inside, I walked up the stairs to change into my pajamas. As I ran up the stairs, I got a funny feeling, like something was chasing me. It was probably my cousin trying to scare me. Ugh. When I got back downstairs, Marilyn had put a movie in for us to watch. I love horror movies, especially anything made by Stephen King. Marilyn hates those kind of movies. So since it was her house, we watched one of her movies, Twilight. Gay sparkling fairies they pass off as vampires and shaky little rat dogs they pass off as werewolves. Ugh. Halfway through the movie, she offered to make popcorn. I told her to make herself useful and make me some mac and cheese. FYI, I am a cheese freak. So while she was in the kitchen, I kept on watching the movie. Lie, I was really watching Law and Order on my tablet. All of a sudden, the TV changed channels. It was on the video channel, so it would have gone staticky if I had pushed the channel button. I looked for the remote. It wasn't anywhere on the recliner that I was in. It was on the couch where Marilyn had been. The news show that was on was very weird. It was pitch black, but I could hear a faint muffled sound, then a faint, This repeated several times, but each time it got softer and softer, like it was getting farther and farther away. After about 60 seconds, it went away and the movie was back on, like nothing had ever happened. See? Even TVs don't like Twilight. Marilyn came back with the popcorn and mac and cheese, and I did not mention the to her, otherwise I'd have to perform an exorcism. Because, you know, I know how to do one of those, right? Well, of course, I mean, I've seen The Exorcist, FML. After the movie finished, finally, we decided to head upstairs to her pink glittery room. I had totally forgotten about the... As we slowly walked up the stairs, I noticed that feeling I had gotten the first time I walked up the stairs. I also noticed my pace had quickened, so did Marilyn's. Before I knew what was happening, we were running. As we ran to her room, the hallway got longer and longer, but we did not stop until the door of her room was locked tight. We sat on her bed and she wanted to gossip, a band-aid to hide what had just happened. She kept going on and on about her boyfriend Robert's dick. I smirked myself and began to go on and on and on about what I thought about Stephen King's dick. It was then when Marilyn jumped up as fast as she could, ran to the light switch, and turned the lights out. I laughed and told her to calm the fuck down. She gave me a crazy look and ran out her bedroom door. I sat there. What the fuck, Mare? I mean, if she could talk about how great Robert's hose was, why can't I talk about Stephen King's? 
I did not go after her. She was being impossible and overdramatic. I just sat there, staring into the pitch blackness. My aunt and uncle may need to amp up the payment. When all of a sudden I heard a soft Why the hell was she watching TV? It started to get louder and louder instead of softer and softer. My heart stopped. Then I knew. The noise stopped right outside Marilyn's door. Mare, is that you? No answer. I sighed and stood. She was being a real pain in my ass. I walked to the door thinking Marilyn was just trying to scare me. I opened the door and there she was or at least a dark form in those pajamas. I don't know what made me do it, but I decided to reach out and touch her, to see if it was her. So I reached out my arm and touched those soft new pajamas. It was Marilyn. I would be demanding lock and key three for this as well. Okay, Marilyn, that was not funny. Mar? Marilyn! She was not answering me at all. She didn't even move. I slowly made my way up her sleeve of her arm. Then I touched the furry collar, up to her neck, and then nothing. There was only a bloody stump where her head was supposed to be. I screamed and ran downstairs. There was a killer in the house! A killer! I grabbed my phone from the kitchen counter and hid it in the pantry. I peered down to my phone and dialed 911. My eyes flicked up and I saw Marilyn's face through the slits in the door, blood dripping from her neck a black gloved hand holding her hair.